In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track waste disposal bins with Excel. I did some changes to my equipment management sheet the other day, and the person was saying to me that uh, there's lots of people that are doing the same work that he did so that I could share this with the world. So basically, he has waste disposal bins, which is like those big garbage bins, and they rent them out to companies, right? Let's book out an equipment, and you can see that these are my numbers because they're BH, whatever. So let's go um, BH6. So I'm going to book out BH6, and so I'm going to type in BH6. You could all obviously have a barcode in here, and then we're going to search. It's basically customer six, which is nothing, and it's in the yard, so it's in our it's in our yard, so we can send it out to somebody else. I'm going to go um, Leduc Rodeo or Black Gold Rodeo. Um, and it's from the Duke. And so then I'm going to sign it out. And so if we go and we look at our list here, we can see that um, bin number six is out at Black Gold Rodeo in Leduc. Now, if we want to sign out another one, we have this, we have the button here on it, which is new search. So now we can pick another one and keep signing them out as much as we want. Okay, so now it has, it's put it on the record so you know where everything is. And then we have operation record. We have today, it was sent out to Black Gold Rodeo in Leduc. Um, the bin number is this. Now, let's say um, they only needed it for a half an hour or something. And so now let's go use the other button that we have here. And it's called return equipment. So now I'm going to type in BH6 again, and then I'm going to search for it. And there you go, your bins um, in the Duke, and it's rented by Black Gold Rodeo. Okay, so it's going to the um, Le Duke landfill. And let's say they had 10.2 uh, tons in it. And so we go returned. Okay, so now let's close this down. And then we have the operation record. So now um, when they rent out bins, they they build them by the ton. So then you can you have the tonnage there, you have the name there, and then you have a drop down list for either it's build or not. So let's go no for right now. And then when we invoice it, I have a list and it's not connected to this, but you could, if we had the Duke Rodeo in here, you could, we have a drop down and you could just search for, um, for the Black Gold Rodeo in here. So let me show you how I did this. So everything is baked based on the two user forms. So let's double click the search button here. And we can see the code sign out unit number dot text. So that's the box on my user form. And then we're, we're assigning it to be unit number and then we're searching for the unit number. And then it's displaying the customer and the location. Okay, so let's go back to our user form and let's go sign out. And then here we have, it's um, searching for what it is there. And now what it's doing is it's, um, it's it's putting in the customer name that we've put in on this user form and the location. And now it's going to the second sheet, which is operation sheet. And then we're going, um, we're going to the last row in that. And then we're putting in the unit number, the customer name, the location and the date and time. And this is how you format the date and time. We have one more button on our user form. So new search. I've, I've done a video on this before. This is just a standard issue little piece of code that it clears off whatever you, user form you have on there. Okay, so now let's go back to the return user form. Okay, so return user form is very similar. So this is your return user form. Now it's just searching for all of the information and then it's displaying it. So let's go to the next button. 
and the button return, basically it searched for the information again, and now it's putting in the cells that we need, need to find. We're saying um, we're entering the landfill, we're entering the tons, and we're entering the date and time that it's returned. I will, of course, include all of the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.